Hello guys, I'm Jun. Welcome to my channel. And today's topic is about finding the area of a parallelogram. By definition, parallelogram is a simple quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. But before we proceed, let's unlock first those words that have been mentioned, like parallel lines and quadrilateral. I will show you what these parallel lines looks like. This is a parallel line. This is a parallel line. Also this one. And this one. And also this one. Then, quadrilateral is looks like this. This is a quadrilateral. Also this one. And also this one. Quadrilateral have four sides. And four vertices. Then, how can we find the area of a parallelogram? Mm. I will show you. This is a parallelogram. As I have said before, a parallelogram has a two pair of parallel lines. This one and this one are parallel to each other and also this one and this one are parallel to each other and also a parallelogram is a quadrilateral it means it has four sides we have one two three and four sides and also have four vertices we have one, two, three, and four vertices. Now, how are we going to solve the area of this figure? Hmm. You're right. We're going to convert this one into a rectangle. How? I will show you. I'm going to cut it here perpendicular to this line. Oop. It's already cut. Then, what I'm going to do is transfer it to the other side like this. I will put them together to form a rectangle. This is now your width and this is now your length. To understand more about finding the area of a parallelogram, please do watch this video. Hello guys, let us find the area of this parallelogram. If you notice this yellow line, the broken line, this line signifies the height of this parallelogram having a value of 3 meter. And at the bottom, we have the base of the parallelogram having the value of 6 meter. Now, I'm going to find a way that this parallelogram will become a rectangle. Why a rectangle? Because rectangle have a known value for finding the area. But actually, 
parallelogram have a formula also for getting the area. But I'm not discussing that on this topic. Instead, I will use rectangle to find the area of this parallelogram. Okay. So, I'm going to divide this parallelogram by putting a red line here. By putting a red line here, we form another figure which is a triangle. Okay? So, what I'm going to do is remove this triangle and put it here in order to form a rectangle. Here. Okay. Hence, we form a rectangle having a width of 3 meters and a length of 6 meters. Then, applying the formula of rectangle, A is equal to length times width, where our length is equal to 6 meters and our width is equal to 3 meters. Substituting the value of length and width into the formula, we have A is equal to 6 meters times 3 meters and our A is equal to 18 square meter. Therefore, our parallelogram, the area of the parallelogram is equal to 18 square meter. For our example number 2, let us find the area of this parallelogram. Having a height of 15 meters and a base of 25 meters. If I'm going to convert this parallelogram into a rectangle, it's either I'm going to cut here or here. But in this example, I'm going to cut it here. There. Then, it form another figure which is a triangle. Then this triangle, I'm going to remove it and put on the other side. There. To form a rectangle. Okay. Hence, we form a rectangle. With a width of 15 meters, having a length of 25 meters. Then, we're going to apply the formula of the rectangle. A is equal to length times width, where our length is equal to 25 meters and width is equal to 15 meters. And we're going to substitute the value of length and the width into the formula of rectangle. Then we have A is equal to 25 meters times 15 meters. So our A is equal to 375 square meters. Therefore, our parallelogram in example number 2, the area of the parallelogram is equal to 
375 square meter. Get your paper and pen for these exercises. May you have learned a lot from this video. Don't forget to leave your comment below and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye!